basically what I'm curious about. So in the specialty industry, in terms of at the consumer level, we still are becoming used to the idea of thinking about specialty coffee as, as actual varieties, right? That Pacamara is different than Tipica and different than Bourbon and different than Geisha, right? And so you'll see a lot of specialty coffee um, offerings from roasters saying things like, um, uh, it, it'll have like four different varieties, right? Basically, I'm just wondering if you could reflect on, on the idea um, of, uh, of why it's important to highlight different varieties or what, what, what have you noticed are differences that, that, that you enjoy seeing from one variety to the next? Well, uh, if we are talking about the specialties, specialty coffee, I, I believe maybe um, uh, is... It's, it's really good to have like different varieties, the specialty varieties, because uh, you are gonna need to uh, to see or you're gonna start learning that uh, everywhere around the world, like people love different kind of varieties and processing, you know. So, like. Um, some some like you know some market likes more the geisha some markets like more the i don't know the colombian variety some market likes more um different varieties you know like the specialty varieties could be hava could be pacamara could be uh, bor uh, different bourbons so maybe the market could show you a little bit that you, you gotta be like honest with that so you start learning that when you go like, for example, to Expo, to the Expo uh, Fair, to the, to the Recom and to the Expo, you, you see that different, like different clients ask you about the, how many varieties and which kind of variety do you have because they like some of them and maybe others they don't. And the same with the processing, because you start learning that there are more markets that like most, uh, like better the naturals, other market like better the, the semi-wash or the wash. So it depends of everything, you know, you, you need to be a little bit multi, how you say that, multicultural, I don't know, multifacetic, I don't know, like, you yeah. know, like, because you, you need to open to the world. Yeah, because you you're gonna you you need to open and see what the people is demanding, you know, like what people needs and where. So I believe maybe that is why I am talking about ourselves. Like that's why we are growing in different varieties to have more like uh, for different clients, you know. Like I believe that. So in, you, in your opinion, you know, what, what, what is the difference in terms of a flavor profile or flavor potential between, say, the Tabi and, and the Geisha? Uh, I, I believe maybe Geisha is a little bit more delicate, even if, if it's natural. It's a little bit more delicate, more flower. Even, even, even the Tabi has some flower, but uh, the Geisha is... It's not like really higher the flower, the lemongrass. Uh, it's like the main characteristics of the geisha, you know. And for the tabby, it could be floral too, but it's more fruity. Is more, it's more cocoa, you know, a little bit more chocolates, a, li a little bit more. I, I, for example, um, I prefer tabby than, than geisha. I love more drinking tabby for me than geisha you know mm -hmm. but uh, to all of you are gonna say that like man you're crazy geisha is better but well not for me you know like so i believe geisha is more delicate that's it you know like that and a, a lot of people likes that but i prefer tabby for myself even my wife my wife loves tabby you know like all the time she's asking me about about the tabby when are you gonna bring some tavia game home? When 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 did you, when are you capping some tavi? You know, like she asks me all the time when I'm when I bring him home. So that's nice. That's wonderful.
So yeah. in, in terms of processes, uh, I, 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 I don't really know the right questions to ask, but like when you are, when you are experimenting with how you're going to process a certain coffee, why do you make certain decisions? Um, for example, with the Tabi, you know, why, why did you choose to do it washed, red honey, and natural? Um, and what excites you about those processes? Well, uh, I definitely uh, use the refractometer. That is the one that tells you the sugar of the coffee. I was talking to you last, yesterday about that. And I see the Briggs degrees, and it tells you how many sugar is on the fruit. So if I see there is a lot of sugar on the fruit, I prefer doing more processing, more natural or honeys. Or if I see there is a little bit lower, like uh, in between 18 and 20 degrees, I prefer doing semi wash or maybe washed. So because it's going to be a little bit more delicate, it's going to be less strong. I don't know. I, 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 it's, that's how my farm is, oh, has shown me to, to me like in the few years, in the last years. Uh, if I see it between like 20 to 25, I try to do honeys. And if, if I see that it's uh, uh, like over 25 till 30, or I don't know, maybe more, uh, I prefer doing naturals. Um, and also, I, I, has to, I have to be honest too. If I, if I know that I have like a lot of the coffee in my storage, for example, naturals, and if I need to do some semi-wash, sometimes I, I, I do the semi-wash too because the market needs, you know, like because maybe some client is going to need it. But I first always see uh, the sugar and all that to decide which process shall I do? Okay. Yeah. Great. I'm wondering, is there anything, when you heard that I was going to do this Tabi trio, is there anything that in particular excited you about the idea? I love to see that because it's like somebody is recognizing me, like what I'm doing to the coffee, you know? So that's why that's why you caught my attention from the beginning, you know, like, because I, I saw like, whoa, he, he, he's seen what I'm trying to do with the same coffee that I can, that I can offer different cups or different tasting with the same coffee doing different processing. So I like it a lot, you know, like I really like it. And that's why I wanted to like explain you about the processing, why I, I, why I done it that way and all that, you know, like, yeah, it's really cool. It's great to be, to be sort of recognized for, for what you're doing. Yeah. It, it, you know, I feel like, yes, somebody like, somebody like uh, really uh, see that, you know, like somebody saw that what I was doing because <laughs> everybody asked me, do you have some geisha? Do you have something I like want? You know, like all the time ask the same but not ask me like what you can do with the geisha, what can you do with the Hava, what can you do with the Colombia? I don't know, like you did with the Tabi, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I showed, and I can show that, what I just told you, that I can do many processings and tasting, cup tasting with the same load. So that's amazing. All of them are gonna show you the chocolate, the cocoa, but one is going to be more fruity, one is going to be more delicate, one is going to be more creamy, one is going to be like a little bit more, I don't know, like more, uh, more uh, residuals. I don't know. So you, you, you're you going to feel like different, like differences in between them. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Nicholas, we're really, really excited to be working with you um, for these projects that we have going on, but also for future projects. I really can't wait to, keep, so. to keep experimenting could be great. with you. Yeah, it could be great. Nice. Really nice. And you know, guys, you are welcome here. Anytime you want to come, we, we, can, we can receive you all time long, all the year, all the year long, you know, like.